Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Tara's Take. So today is Inspire Me Day and I was thinking about something that I have wanted to do for a while. One of you, actually two of you, have mentioned it to me, uh, making a folio. I was watching <clears throat> one of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Tina. So I decided, you know what? She was the first person to ever teach me how to make a folio, so I'm just, I'm going to go for it, and I'm going to make one with you guys, hopefully. <laughs> it's been, oh my goodness, it's been almost a year since I have made one. I just grabbed some coffee dyed papers, uh, some that were digi printouts that are totally grungy and blurred, and I grabbed some... Um, cardstock that I had dyed back eons ago and I grabbed some envelopes I grabbed a 12 by 12 double sided pad um, I grabbed this a huge Amazon envelope and I split it in two and then I also have sewn together some music sheets um, I have this small I don't know if I'll use it but it's fun to use it's adhesive um, and it's the tattered, let's see, tattered and worn pad from uh, Hobby Lobby, the paper studio. And then I have a piece of a file fold, manila, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get my cord to stay out of my way. Um, this is a piece of manila folder that I had um, in the drawer. And so yeah, that's what I have with me. Okay, so let's, let's play. Um, first of all, I was thinking about having this on the outside. I am going to go ahead and glue this. I was, um, I started to cut it and then I realized that it is about the height that I want the journal or the folio to be. And I thought it could be a part of the cover as it wraps around and it's nice and wide. So I'm not going to measure, I'm just going to glue this together real quick. Oops, I guess I do need to at least, sorry about that, I bumped the phone. I need to at least glue it together evenly. Um, but yeah, it's got that padding on the inside so it feels nice and squishy. And um, I don't know, I just thought it might be a fun thing to glue some envelopes to. Maybe, and then we'll cover it, you know, with some paper and yeah see what we get I'm just gonna do this is probably gonna be grungy the last one I did I ended up I think I told you guys about it recently I sold it to a young man um, it was I did the faux leather thing that I did with you guys um, yeah it was a cover it had the faux leather and I got more glue than that it just was so cool it was such a perfect folio cover. Okay. And believe me, I've been trying to figure out and remember what exactly did I do to create that folio cover? Because, I mean, it was faux leather, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm like thinking, did I do it? For I did it after. I mean, it was all done. It was put together and everything, and then I did it. It was really hard, but... I, I got it, I got it uh, covered. So yeah, so I was looking at this and I kind of folded this up and thought, you know what, we could cover this um, with some paper and make this a pocket. And then, um, you know, glue this in some way so that it'll be, um, I think we'll do it like that. I don't even know where my, where's my bone folder here? Here it is. I haven't used it in a minute. <clears throat> These guys too, I'm gonna use to, um, some I'll use to decorate pages and some I'm gonna use to create pages. So I'm just moving a few things around. I don't have, as you know, I don't have a ton of space in my area, so I need to push things back and around and clear out the general vicinity. Yeah, this is that one I was showing you guys. It had the postcards. It has all the fun writing on it. And I haven't used it. It's just been sitting there. And I thought, wow, 
you know, that would possibly be perfect to cover some pages with. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue these flaps because these of course are not gonna be envelopes anymore. And I don't know, I was thinking, how do I want this to, to um, be designed? But you know, I gotta agree with Tina. When you create a folio type notebook, it's, you never do it the same way twice. And at least, I don't think I can. Um, and so I'm just gonna prep. These envelopes were actually purchased for this very reason a year probably a year ago uh, from the Dollar Tree <laughs> and as soon as I found out I could use envelopes for journal covers I was on it if you're new to junk journaling and you've never used an envelope like this for a cover it can be done and it makes a very cool soft cover journal so I don't know, I was just kind of thinking it'd be fun to make a folio that just has lots of twists and turns and, you know, flips and hiding places. And like I said, it's been a minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a little folding here. Okay. I hope everybody's having a good day. You getting any crafting done today? So it's Thursday. Tomorrow is our build a junk journal day and I'm debating. Um, this is just for a fun project. I, I think what I'm gonna do is a refurbished book as, um, as a journal for our next project. What do you guys think? I've had a few of you ask me and so I'm thinking that's what I'm probably going to do. Um, okay, so I'm going to glue this together. This is going to be our first base here of our folio. And I'm just using my Aline's Tacky Glue. This is, I think, probably the, at least of what I have in my collection of glues, the best glue for me to use for this particular part of our project. Okay. I have not rehearsed what I'm doing. I um, have not thought about this. <laughs> this is all straight. Um, I'm even gonna fold this down some more because I'll probably, I know me, I'll be covering this. I wanna make sure that it fits, there we go. Um, yeah, I haven't rehearsed this. This is probably the first time uh, for a paper project that I've sat down with you guys and just did it without even, uh, you know, seeing what I could accomplish first. So, pray for me. <laughs> Seriously. You think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Uh, you know, I think it's at least my personality type. Uh, I don't know that everybody is like this, but when you come on camera in front of people or when you do anything on, you know, on stage or on a platform, you know, of any sort, you're wishing and hoping that you don't make a fool of yourself. So yeah, so do <laughs> at least my personality type is, uh, I could be wrong. I'm sure there's other people that are like, Oh, whatever. I don't care what anybody thinks, you know, and that's awesome. I I so wish I could be that that kind of person, but I'm not. 
I'm just not. So we're gonna make a pocket out of this one here. I'm just gonna do a little easy pocket. And this one is probably, I'm gonna make sure and not let that, see that glue seeping over. There we go. Now, so far we have that. It opens, it opens, okay. I'm even jumping, I don't want to say I'm jumping the gun, but I'm even gluing things down prior to knowing exactly uh, where I'm going to be placing them. So that's also new for me. I usually uh, make sure that I know exactly, you know, where things are going to go and what I'm going to do. And I thought, you know what, if this doesn't work praise God I tried and if it does work praise the Lord it's gonna be pretty so <laughs> it'll be fun yes that's the swirl method <laughs> that's my swirl method on gluing stuff down we're gonna put this on the back here I'm leaving myself a little bit of space here for, you know, folding and stuff. And then this is going to get, this piece will get covered, but it's going to have two pockets right here. You know what, in fact, before I glue this down, I think I'm going to do some, and that's another thing. This is going to be kind of an eclectic book, I think because I have no idea what papers I'm going to use or any of that. I love this particular print right here, so I'm going to use it and we're going to strengthen this uh, little corner here. Let's see if I got that. Oh, I got it even. What do you know? Okay. And I am not going to worry about matchy-matchy. Uh, that, that's another thing. I'm, I'm not doing it this time. I'm going to try my hardest to just go with my flow. And I was thinking it might be cute if there was kind of a, you know, patchwork, eclectic, different, you know, like everything didn't line up perfectly and match each piece down to the you know what I'm saying I could just go ahead and let this flow over to the other side and then bend it this paper is awesome because it's that adhesive on there and it is a good adhesive on this particular cardstock I really 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 like it now I do have another piece of that. But I also have some pieces, I wanna see something of this. And I love this paper, I love it so much. It is so pretty. We are gonna do one thing. I know it's funny I'm doing it already, but I don't wanna forget. I'm gonna grunge this little edge. No matter what I do, it's brown. <laughs> okay, let me see here. I think I had, like I said, I think I have another piece of this, didn't I? Yeah, I thought so. So I could, I could line this up and match it. Oh, it almost fits right to it too. I guess I will, since I have it, right? I'm gonna, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this. I don't need that whole thing. So. I'm just going to trim. I hope I did it wide enough. I did. Yay. <laughs> okay. So we're going to cover this piece. I'm going to get all this trash. I do not have room for trash, that is for sure. Okay, I'm gonna take this to this edge. Oh, 
That's weird. Oh, I know why. Mm -hmm. Because I had... Uh... You know what? It really doesn't matter because I'm going to be covering this side as well. So It really... This whole side's going to get covered, so I'm not going to worry about that. <clears throat> And then I'm just going to trim this off. So how many of you have made folios? Now I'm going to be honest, I had heard the word folio in my business and everything as kind of like, you know, uh, a financial folio, you know, it, it, that kind of thing. But I had never seen a folio made until I started doing junk journals, and I was like, I was watching Tina going, what is a folio? What is she talking about, you know? And, uh, yeah, it was funny. And now I'm just like, oh, I know what that is. <clears throat> this professional, haha. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it a whole year. I feel like I'm old hat at this. I'm kidding. It's a joke. Seriously, I'm constantly learning, um... That was one of the things that almost hindered me from doing the channel is I was like, who do I think I am? I can't teach anybody anything. I mean, my goodness, I'm barely learning it myself. But like I told you, I just wanted somebody to craft with so much, I let it overpower my uh, my worry about, you know. I probably should have done something to that one too, huh? Oh well, I will. But I, I did, I let, uh, I let my desire to craft with you guys over my fear of anyone thinking I'm trying to be a know-it-all because trust me I promise you with all my heart I am not that's why I get so excited when you guys share you know because you have so many ideas and so and there's so many of you out there that I've already talked to that are you've been crafting way longer or in at least in this aspect of art you've been doing it way longer than me and um, I appreciate your your hints and uh you know don't do it that way it's not gonna work or you know the things that you guys tell me thank you i'm gonna grab a drink of water <clears throat> yeah i'm not sure why i did that i should have covered that too because i'm chit-chatting y'all know why it still hasn't is it sealed nope guess what I'm gonna do it I'm going to do it now I'm gonna use a different color though oh that one's pretty look at that one I like that one we'll use it we shall use it it's gorgeous at least I think it's gorgeous <laughs> if you don't I'm sorry I love this paper. Yeah, I wish this, um, I wish more of these pads came with the adhesive on the back. Have any of you ever used these? I had never seen them before. Uh, until I, I found it one day, at, like I said, at Hobby Lobby. And I absolutely love it. Um, but I kind of hoarded a little bit because I've never seen them anywhere else. And also, I'm always worried, you know, that they won't have it anymore. So I just use it for, like, special stuff. I don't, I don't want, I don't want to not have it. Oh, I'm already glued down, so I'm going to have to go from this side. I don't like cutting from this angle very much. I can't, because I'm right-handed, I can't seem to get my scissors quite as close as I want to without, like, cutting into what I'm doing. But it has to be done because I messed up. I should have covered this before I, I got, I got excited and glued everything down. I don't know if it's excitement. Maybe it's nerves. 
I got nervous and glued everything down. I don't have to be nervous with you guys, right? For the most part, um, I feel like I know most of my viewers at this point, you guys. Or that I'm acquainted, you know. I am totally going to tear this corner up. I can feel it. We might, and we might not, get to do any, like, major decorating of this today. Um, I'm not sure because, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take me to actually architect it, which is what I feel like I'm doing. You know what I bet would work is if I just pop this little, uh, never mind, it won't, because of the curved edge there. I'm just going to have to wing it. There we go. Good enough. Okay, and now I am gonna huh, don't wanna I was gonna say, you know what, I think I'll leave it with that. Um, I think I'm just gonna grab my little brush where'd I go? My little friend I'm gonna grab my little friend here and I'm just gonna kind of brush some of this in. I was thinking, you know what I could do? I could wait and do um, book page. That would look really nice in there, huh? Let's see. Let me see if I have. That. Huh. Not quite. I have bigger pieces. Let me just find one. I know that I do. There we go. Let's see. If I could just even glue it in like right to there. And just have it come in. Yeah something like that come off this edge. I hope y'all don't think I'm crazy. I told you I, I'm not used to this is the kind of stuff I try by myself, and then when it doesn't work, watch me. I'm just gonna, I know. Ugh, I've got people cringing, huh? Um, yeah, this is the kind of stuff I do by myself, usually. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do right there. All right, you guys. You know what, I bet, actually, I bet this glue stick would even do better just because of the fact that it's dictionary paper and it's very old dictionary paper. Mm -hmm. Moving some things out of my way, so bear with me. I know this looks crazy, but I'll just glue these sides back down. Everything will be fine. I bet you everything will be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do this. And we're gonna do that. Let's see. Yep, it's fine. Yep. Other than I got this on here way too much. I guess I could cover it with a little more of the page. You're not gonna see it. But that way the glue's not harming the um, the folder itself when I shut it. It's not going to do itself shut or something. So I might as well just go ahead and do it. There we go. Yeah, you'll never see it, but okay. 
Now, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these back down. That way when I go to, tr I can just trim this off the side, you know, it's not gonna be as difficult as it would have been. I should just use this glue, not the other. This will get it down much quicker. We know that. I know, I've made a mess. I can't even tell you how absolutely messy my crafting is when I'm by myself. <laughs> there are times when I'm just, I'm like, see, this is why, these are the things you do not show people. <laughs> They'll think you're crazy. Okay. I'm hoping that stays down. It's kind of lifting. Look at that. It lists, I will just have to glue it as I see it. I've never had it lift. It's always held pretty well, but. Okay. Now I'm going to attempt to trim this diction. Actually, what might look kind of cool. Oh, I glued it right there. As if I could tear it. Huh. Oh, not tear it that way. <laughs> yeah, you should probably let it dry before you go doing that. <laughs> you didn't see that, right? Nobody saw that. <laughs> am I even in camera? I hope I am. You guys have to see my entire messy process. making sure I'm in camera. Okay, we're there, we're there. Yep, see it's still ripping. I need to let it dry. Let's see if I can. I like the torn. You guys know that. So for me, that's like, ooh, pretty. I'll figure something out with all this little, these little spots, all this stress and do my thing. You know how I do. Okay, so now we have, okay, so we have this opening. This opens, we have a folder here. Okay, and if we wanted, we can make it go like this. Okay, then we have this folder. And when you turn it, this opens. Okay, and we wanna make sure, now that we put paper um, on there, we need to make sure that this is folded down good. Now, turn it. So we have this, it could go back like that. I'm not sure because I can do another envelope edging here. Um, let's see, let me go ahead and prep another one of these. it's going to have that opening okay then it's going to open here here 
here. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm gonna put another envelope on the back of this envelope. I kind of want, if possible, this brown Amazon thing, envelope. Sorry guys, I was fixing my cord um, on my phone. I kind of want it to be a part of the cover. And I have another piece of it. So if I needed to, I can make it longer so that it does a whole, oops, my goodness, I'm getting this everywhere. So that it does a whole wrap around, okay? Oh, <laughs> do you see me? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am such a clumsy girl with the glue. I am, it's true. Sorry, I know it's painful sometimes to watch me. You should see me in person, it's really painful. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, I am going to have to get that glue off of there or it's going to stick everything together. But I wanted to get this one on here. Yeah, I want it this way. Okay. All right. Okay, clean up my mess here a little bit. Scooch it over before it dries. All right. Now let me get in there and fix what I just did because I know I got glue all over the place. Hopefully it's okay. There we go. There we go. Now this piece. All right. So now we have this section. getting nice and padded feeling. Feels pretty cool. I just dumped that in the ink here. Let me close that. So we have this opening. Once this dries, sorry about that. Just gotta keep that together for a second here. Okay. So that's that. Then there's that. That. And that one. And that one. Okay. Now, I'm going to take another one of these, and I also wanted to use, um, I actually sewed, and this was where my inspiration started with Tina, was I watched her and she was sewing together, I mean she had sewn together two pages of music, and she was using them as a part of her design for her folio and I thought you know that that looks so cool and I have plenty of, of sheet music so I think I'm gonna do something like that and so I'm thinking yeah, if I go that way and then do this one See, sorry guys. See, this is where you gotta you gotta figure out what you want it to do. So this is going up. Okay, so this is the top. And that, and that, and that. I'll do one more envelope here and see if I can make this glue hand a little bit steadier, huh? If not, I will just make all of you laugh <sighs> as I'm covered in glue. And begins the swirl. I tried doing when how Tina, she always holds hers like this, and <laughs> it about kills my thumb knuckle. I feel like my thumb is about to break off of my hand. I can't do that. 
probably comes from cracking my knuckles my whole life. So this one's gonna go like so. Okay. Now, I think I'm going to do the music. Oh, cool. That's funny. I'm going to do the music on this section right here. So, yeah. This is um, it's taking a lot of my thought process. <laughs> Can you tell? I'm not talking. I actually, uh, it's funny, I actually craft very quietly when I'm by myself for the most part. Because like I've said, I don't have anybody to talk to. That's part of it. And um, I was telling one of my friends today on Facebook, I'm actually quite a loner. I don't, I know I don't come across as one, but I'm not introvert really. But I grew up, um, I have half brothers and sisters, okay? And my mother, uh, oh, what a, what a story my mama had. She's been gone now since I was 27. But my mother was married uh, five times, twice to my dad, okay? And she had three children before me. And I, um, just actually lost one of my sisters. My oldest sister passed away a couple of years ago. Um, but yeah, and so I was, I was not, it's a long story, but let's just say it this way. I was not raised with my siblings, okay? I was raised in Indiana and they were raised in Arkansas, okay? Um, long story behind that. But anyway, because I was lo alone, a lot as a kid my mom she used to say to me now Tara you're gonna have to learn how to enjoy your own company you know because mom loved to play cards but she wasn't the person who would sit around and play you know what I mean I mean she wouldn't get down on the floor and like play dolls you know stuff like that and so I was kind of on my own a lot as a kid and playing you know I mean my mom was there my dad and mom were there but you know or my dad was at work and my mom was usually home and uh, until I got a little older and then she was at work and he was home <laughs> but, but yeah so I learned how to be by myself um, and I think that the reason I'm good talking like this with you guys is because of being on the stage and singing and then also you know ministering the word and stuff so I just kind of have learned um, how to talk in front of a group. You know what I mean? So yeah. Now I also coffee dyed these. And I'm going to fit them in here somewhere. Okay? I'm going to try. These I will want to strengthen with some... Uh, some book page probably but I was thinking I do like to let's see here. I could do it like 
this. Or I can just have it like this, where it'll open. I've done it both ways. It works both ways. Yeah, I think I will put, where'd my little blue go? It's here. I'm gonna have to grab my other one if I can't find it. I know it's here. Oh well probably fell knowing me um yeah but my point was that when I'm by myself I tend to be very quiet and not talk at all unless you know I'm berating myself about something or I'm praying uh, yeah so for me to get quiet I know I don't sound like I have a point but I do for me to get quiet while I'm crafting is not rare it's not an odd occurrence. I actually am pretty quiet normally. I told my husband, you know, it's weird. I've, I've even gotten kind of super comfortable just not even having the, having the television on sometimes, you know. So, yeah. I am dropping stuff. If you guys could see me here. <laughs> I'm just checking. I wanted to, um, that I put a piece of paper here. Okay. I don't know, this Inspire Me might end up being our next uh, journal video for tomorrow. <laughs> I may just come back and finish doing this little thing. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. Now let's do the cut, the fold cut, like I always tell you guys. Yes, I got this from Miss Tina, because I can't, I can't cut on a fold line either. I hope I didn't cut too far or too unevenly on this one, though. We shall see, huh? I just wanted to bring it up to, like, the edge there and let this fold over. I thought it would look kind of cool on this page. Of course, it's still too long. Look at that. Oh, was it this side? Maybe it was this side. <laughs> no, it's perfect. That's why it was this side. Okay, never mind. I'm getting coming down on myself for nothing. Now I do need to straighten it a little bit. Hopefully it'll still fit. Okay. Because these words are on the back, it does kind of make it possible to tell where you're where you're uneven. Get another drink. I'm surprised that I have not heard from Cordy yet. He's uh He's usually texting me about this time, saying he's on his way home from the yard. Okay, so we're gonna glue this down. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it so I can trim a touch. Just a touch. Let's see. All right, I have to be super careful here go really close because I didn't give myself a whole lot of wiggle room on this one. Can she do it? We shall see folks. We shall see. Pretty close. Hmm. I'm thinking I still need to come off just a teeny tiny bit. This is so scary. I don't want to mess it up. I actually think I'm going to like this little page right here. Okay. 
I'm going to sit down. I've been standing up and my back is starting to hurt. Oh, I found my glue. I told you I dropped it. <laughs> yeah, I knew. I knew I did. I knew I did. Now this, this cardstock is pretty thick, so it should not um, really show bumps and stuff. It should be good. Okay, come on. Don't stiffen up on me now, Glue. You've been doing so good. Swirly, swirly. <clears throat> I love to make folios. I had forgotten how much I liked them. This is still crooked. I can see it. So, how many of you have seen the show, The Goldbergs? Anybody? Anybody out there watch The Goldbergs? Okay, my husband and I have been cracking up at that dumb show. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, it's very funny. It's about, Adam Goldberg is actually a, like, I guess a producer or whatever in Hollywood. He's, he, um... The show is based off of his family, and it's hysterical. It is hysterical, really. You've got to see it. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. I think you'd like it. If you like, I mean, you know, it's got its moments, but it's it's relatively clean. I mean, they bleep out if anybody curses or anything, um, and you know, it's it's a it's a clean-minded show. Uh, the only thing is, that, and it's true to life though, his dad would walk around the house in his briefs. So in the show, the father does wear his briefs, which, you know, other than that, the show's super clean. So, um, but it's really, really a silly, silly show. It's cute. Um, and it's, and it's so funny because it's, like I said, it's true to life. It's really about his family. And how his family was with each other and it, they're, they were hysterical. They were hysterical. And it's based in the 80s. So if there's any of us out there like me, anybody else out there who grew up in the 80s, um, you know, this show would crack you up. Yeah. Let's see here. So, okay, so now if I put this one here, okay, to go like that, then we're going to have this this page, this, this envelope, which I still need more envelopes in here. Um, this folder, that looks kind of cool. I like that one. Uh, this page that opens up. Then we have this one. So I'm thinking, and I want to see where I may end up using this, and I have it. Like I said, I have the other half right here. And I'm thinking if I, let's see, which way did I do this like this? Yeah. If I folded this and glued it down, I want to see, um, goodness, come on, oh. I wanted to see if I put these two together, I was wondering if I could make, because I would like to add, um, like I did in that one I sold to that young man, I had, and then I had one I, I sold to my friend, and I had another one I did that I get, I guess I've done three, this is like my fourth one, it's just been so long, um, that I did notepads inside of them, and I wanted to see if I could make sure I have a spine that will fold around this plus a notebook which is what I did with my friends and it worked uh, with all of them and it worked really good so I, let's see I'm gonna glue this together I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to make this work but we're we're experimenting here today we are we are experimenting just I want to put this together
I did a spine. Well, how do I put this? I didn't do an exact spine, but I made a fold in the last one that I sold to that young man that was made on purpose so that it could retain or maintain notebooks in it and not be to where it wouldn't close. Um, so the way it was folded, it, it held like a spine, if that makes sense. I didn't put like cardboard there, I didn't put any, but it was just the way that I, I folded the papers. So I was thinking if I put these together in such a way, okay, that they, it has a width, you know, then I can make sure that it does the wrap around and then trim this according to the size that I need it to be. I hope, I hope I am making sense right now. I know what I'm saying, but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna glue this together right about here. And in fact, I think I'm gonna use the art glitter glue because it is so powerful. It holds so well. And because this is going to be uh, two pieces stuck together like that, I, I really I want to make sure it holds good. Okay, I'm just being, I'm just moving quick because this stuff also dries super fast, as you know if you've used it. Okay, so now I'm going to sit this here. Okay. There'll be some trimming going on, but. I'm thinking if I do this right, I might, you know, with theirs I put like pull out notebooks. Um, but I'm thinking if I do this correctly, there might be uh, room to have like signature, a couple of signatures. We'll see. We shall see, kids. Because right now, of course, you know, you don't need any extra. But if I wanted to... There's my bone folder. I'm all messed up around here. I've got too much stuff in front of me. I'm still going to be adding like another um, another probably a couple of sheets that will make this have a couple more folds I think so that gives me that which gives me some space now of course we are going to need to decorate so what I could do is I've already kind of shot it with that, haven't I? However, because it's a folio, yeah, if I went ahead and gave, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, gave this, yeah. I know it seems weird, but I just, I remember making it so that it folded over and I had room for it, you know. So if I'm here and I'm here, okay. what I'm looking at is There you go. So if 
this folds it in right here. <laughs> Are you guys seeing how I'm what I'm thinking here? These aren't necessarily going to be spines, but they're the way it's folded, it's going to naturally fall and give you space in the folio to add paper and still be able to close it. Okay, so now with this piece. And this whole thing is going to be covered with paper, so <clears throat> it's not going to it's not going to look anything like it looks right now. Or it'll be covered with cloth. You know, I might do cloth on it. Just depends on uh, as it starts to come together. What I think, you know what I mean? Okay. So where I want this to be so this will be the front it'll open like so this opens like that and this opens like this oh I didn't glue that one down and then like this, and then like this. You see? See? So once this piece is set here, okay, it'll, it'll just like have its own flow. Now it's probably the base of it because this one seems to, this piece here, seems to be the, the base, like where it's going to flow from. Hmm. If I, if that's glued down, you know, yeah, and then it'll open. Okay. So that's going to be it for today, you guys. I have kept you long enough. <laughs> but anyway, so as you can see, this is going to be our cover. Okay? And we'll have enough room with the way this is folded to create a signature. Um, I'm believing afterwards to put into this or a notebook. One of the two. I mean... If it's, like I said, if it's not a full-blown signature, it can be a notebook. But that'll be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed putting together this folio. We are not even done yet, of course, but this is as far as I could get us today. <laughs> so thank you for bearing with me. You guys have a wonderful night. Have a great day tomorrow, and I hope I get to see you tomorrow. God bless you, and I love each one of you. Bye.